Corporal Beast here doing another video. Today we are replacing this Pioneer radio with something a little bit more upgraded. We're still staying with Pioneer, but we're going to put in a unit with Bluetooth. It's a 4800 BT model. Um, I have an unboxing of that radio on the channel. Go ahead and check that out. Today we're going to be pulling this old one out, swapping the new one in. You may have seen this install on this Blazer before. We put in a 4 channel amp and a 10 inch sub. Pretty cool. Today we're going to go ahead and install our Bluetooth radio and get everything to it. Now with any classic car, you really have to locate the best place to install the radio. Now fortunately, this is where the old 72 Blazer radio was. And uh, it did come out pretty easily. And what we've done is put a can in there in its place. These cans look similar to our new radio. Come with new radios. And that allows you to really mount the radio securely within an opening. Now commonly if, with these cars, if the uh, radio is of abnormal size and you can't really find another place to put it, or if you want to keep the factory look, you can put them in the glove box if needs be. Some people put them under the seat. Some people mount them with a universal kit underneath, underneath the, the dash itself. Uh, just find a good place. Now really, the basics of wiring a radio into a classic car is first things first, you're gonna need a positive wire. For our radio, this yellow is our constant. You have to run this to the battery, make sure you fuse it. If you can find a constant 12 volt signal somewhere in the dash already, you don't have to go to the battery, just make sure you're always fused to be safe. You need the ground, and this can be grounded to the chassis, this can be grounded through the harness you just need a solid ground with no resistance that goes to the negative on the battery typically the whole chassis on the vehicle works just fine um, just totally locate that you can use a voltmeter to really locate the best possible ground available um, here we have our ignition wire now this is a switch signal this wire you want hot when you turn the key on and turn the key on only um, or else the radio will be on all the time drain the battery will cause you issues down the road so find a 12 volt switch source basically that's hot only when the key is on that's what you'll connect to this guy here is in case you have an amp amplifier or an aftermarket something else added within the vehicle this for example will connect to an amplifier in this vehicle that's hidden away that's not to be seen up here on the under the seat if you don't have an amp don't worry about that and these guys are your speaker wires. Now, every car is different, especially classic ones. Here in this Blazer, we have 6x9s in the doors, and there's only two of them. And the previous installer had run speaker wire from those doors up through into the dash here on both sides. And so really, if you didn't have an amplifier or anything else, and you're running the speakers off the radio, you would just use, for example, the fronts on here. Front left is white and white black, and front right is gray and gray black and the rear if if you had rear speakers rear left is green and green black and rear right is purple and purple black so really there's no wiring harness adapter available for these vehicles basically you just wire everything manually make sure it's clean and your connections are solid and that's the basic premise now here in this blazer we already had a pioneer so we're going to go ahead and put our new harness in its place um we're only using the front two speakers but believe it or not we're not going to even use the speaker outputs on this because we're running an amplifier that'll push our two interior speakers and this blazer is extremely loud with this exhaust so the customer really wanted some more oomph to power those speakers we installed a pioneer four channel amp we'll go ahead and show you once the new radio is in kind of a demo of what was installed here and i'll actually post a link on how to install a four channel amp and sub in one of these classic cars so after you've located your positive negative switched wire like i said put in this can and in this circumstance on this blazer we just bent the little tabs in around here to really secure it you may need to secure it just a tad more it's a little bit loose and then what we'll do with our new wiring harness installed we have the positive negative switched um, ignition and our remote turn on wire here as well as our RCA cables to run our amplifier. We're gonna plug that here into this radio. We're gonna plug the harnesses in here and that will just slide right on in there and it'll look super clean. Now the previous installer on this located the um, 
constant and then the switched here and just kind of used ADA circuits to put those in. Not the best way, but it works. We're gonna go ahead and clean up the wiring before we finish up this install. But on your vehicle, whether any year maker model, um, you're gonna need to find the switch power, the constant power, and a ground. Okay. So we go ahead and plug in our main wiring harness, our antenna right there on the right, our Bluetooth mic, which is that little guy, and then our blue RCA cables, which run our amplifier. And now with that in there, we can slide the guy on in. Now before we pop it in all the way, we're gonna go ahead and do a test, make sure everything works before we click it into place. All right, here we go, we got it in. We did a quick test, everything seems to be working great. Just the radio. Up underneath, amplifier is on, everything's cleaned up. We'll go and push the, pop the radio back in here. This time we're good to go. If you have any questions about how to install an aftermarket radio on a classic car, just post a comment below. Like I said, this is kind of a universal video. It's not necessarily a step-by-step -step walkthrough because every classic car is going to be different. This was for a 72 Blazer K5 model. Thanks for watching the channel and we will see you guys in the next video.